Yeah, it's your boy Nefakari Desaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. And today we got to talk about the story of two black generals, General Jean-Jacques Dessalines and General Louis Delgrès. Let's get into it. The reason why I'm making this video drawing connections between these two generals are for one major reason. Number one, both of these military men were fighting for the same thing against the same opponent. Both of these military men never met, but they found themselves in the same predicament and had the same tactics to use against their opponents. One of these men won, one of these men lost, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to draw connections between black people across the diaspora even those of us who never met and towards the end of this video if you stay with me all the way through you're gonna understand why i made this video let's get into it as we all know i don't gotta run down the life story of general jean-jacques Dessalines. i already got a whole bunch of videos going in great detail about his life but as we all know the legendary revolutionary leader that led the haitian war of independence that defeated the french colonial government what's understood don't need to be explained but a figure that doesn't get his just due in history in my opinion is General Louis Delgrès of Guadeloupe. As we know, in the 1790s, due to the rebellion that popped off in Haiti, all of the French colonies were granted freedom from slavery in the 1790s. In 1802, Napoleon went back on his word. As we know, Napoleon came from a slave-owning family. Obviously, this was integral to the economy. The business of human trafficking was integral to the cash flow coming into Napoleon's family, especially his wife. His wife coming from one of the most high-ranking elite slave-owning families. So, when the French army came back to his former colonies to reinstitute slavery in 1802, as we know, in Haiti, they were unsuccessful, but there were other wars of independence that were also going on like in Guadeloupe and in all of the French colonies as we know the French were successful in reinstating slavery in their other colonies except Haiti but what is not known is the military tactics that were used by the generals who were leading the opposition front against them now let's jump into the life story of General Louis Delgrès resistance to the French authorities was led by General Louis Delgrès a mulatto born as a free man on Martinique in 1766 Delgrès gained military combat experience fighting for the French against the English in the years leading up to the Napoleonic era. Delgrès strongly opposed the reinstatement of slavery in colonial France by Napoleon, a man previously admired by Delgrès who in the eyes of Delgrès had betrayed the revolution by his intention to reinstate slavery. As we know, the French Revolution popped off in the early 1790s. That nonsense about the equality and the justice and the freedom for all men under God and humankind, you know, that nonsense, the French Revolution, it was the Haitian Revolution that was the true embodiment of justice and equality and what the french revolution was trying to live up to but obviously it failed because it was a colonial empire that was built off the blood and the backs of other human beings so obviously you know what i mean as per usual the europeans lying and fronting but you know that's not the point of this video back to general louis delgrès the battle against the French was not going well, and Delgrès and his freedom fighters were forced to Fort Saint Charles, a slave stronghold. Unable to beat the French, Delgrès escaped with 400 followers, men and women, and fought another battle at Matuba. Once again, failing to beat the better organized French, Delgrès and his band refused to surrender and instead committed suicide by blowing themselves up with their stock of gunpowder. Not merely a suicide, the intention of Delgrès was to assassinate as many french soldiers as possible that were in near proximity to his soldiers and the gunpowder and as we know the french were successful in reinstating slavery on the island of guadeloupe now general delgrès went out like a jito you know what i mean and the reason why i draw the connections to him and general desaline is apart from the fact that both men found themselves in the same situation and were going to use the same tactics with worse comes to worse just like with desaline at the battle of creta Piewo, similar to general delgrès at the battle of matuba desaline told his men that he'll blow the entire fort up if the french soldiers ever break through the line in guadeloupe the french soldiers did break through the line and general delgrès blew the fort up and he committed suicide Dessaline threatened to blow the fort up and commit suicide but the french soldiers never penetrated the line and both men had women in their ranks like i always say men and women black men and women together on that battlefield fighting and dying together on that battlefield bleeding together on that battlefield and one thing i want to draw a heavy comparison to general delgrès he died in may 1802 at the battle of matuba Dessaline at the Battle of Cotapiewo, when he was gonna blow the fort up with the gunpowder, that was March of 1802. As we know, this was during the military campaign by the French to reinstate slavery. These men never met. These men had the same military tactics. These men came from different social classes. 
General Delgrest was a mulatto who had military experience and was a free man. Dessaline came from the sugarcane plantations. Both men fighting for the same thing against the same opponent using the same tactics. In March 1802, at the legendary Battle at Cuetapiewo, during this battle, Dessaline and 1,300 men and women defended a small fort for 20 days against 18,000 attackers. To inspire the troops at the start of the battle, Dessaline waved a lit torch near an open powder keg and declared that he would blow the entire fort up if the enemy broke through. The rebel forces forced their way through the enemy lines and escaped into the mountains. Over 1,500 European soldiers died in this battle with only 300 Haitian deaths. French General Charles Dugois was assassinated during this battle. So as we know, both military men fighting for the same cause, using the same tactics. Dessaline was able to get away and escape into the mountains. General Delagrest, you know, he was outmanned and outgunned, and he blew the entire fort up. Men and women all inside. Instead of surrender to the enemy, they'll assassinate themselves. So, you know, I have to draw that connection. And it was just, you know, it blew me away. You know, that's something that we don't even really think about. Both of these battles happened within a couple months of each other. One in March, one in May, same year, same opponent, same fight, same cause. And I always say black women during that era, that generation, that early 1800s generation, especially down in the francophone colonies that were going against the French colonial government, easily the most legendary collective of black women to ever walk this earth. When we think of loyalty down the ride, down to go into the very end, down to die together before we ever surrender. So I had to draw that conclusion. I had to draw that connection. You know what I mean? Gotta show love to the ancestors. Gotta honor them. Two legendary stories. Two legendary battles. Even though General Delgrest lost, he went out like a G. And Dessaline, even though he was able to see another day and fight another day, he was ready to go out like a G. And like I said, both of these men never met. Both of these men never had a conversation. Both of these men were on two different islands. Two different francophone colonies. Both of these men probably never even knew each other existed. But they had the same military tactics. Same women in their ranks, unlike the French colonial government, they didn't come with the women in their ranks. Their women wasn't trying to pick up no machete, wasn't trying to pick up no shotgun. You know what I mean? Our women were ready to take it there all the way to the finish line. And until we ever find that same unity that we had back in them early 1800 days against the French colonial government, the British colonial government, the Spanish colonial government, we'll never be able to replicate what we did back in ancient times. Until you find that courage to take it all the way there and until you find that unity to keep it all the way there, We'll never make progress and we'll never be able to replicate the past. But it is what it is, man. I got to show love to the ancestors. It's your boy Nefakari Dessaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. The story of two generals. General Jean-Jacques Dessaline and General Louis Delgrest. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion I left on a horse and came back in that ass And I left with abundance and came back to famine We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping Look how the mighty have fallen Used to be running, now we be walking When you be cooning, that's when they applauded Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter Gotta come up in this shit, they stuck in the mix Really, my heart would be breaking That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business Pass it down in generation Talking about money and power and building a nation That's a deadly combination Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders Falsifying information now they got malice intentions Step in the room and I'm feeling attention Enemy watching me blocking my vision Get for the check cause I need my redemption Building my kingdom, I need it protected Ready for war like a young money Congo Never decided the team is the motto Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious I came for the power, they came for the bitch They making no hour, they wage I got business This shit is an art, and it can never be taught Selling my soul, I can never be bought Play with my money, I see you in court Run to the check and I do it for sport Babylon falling, I go to the source Packing my luggage and go overseas Shorty be with me and she so at least Shorty be chugged and I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces